Hello there guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Naked36 and this is going to be my guide on what I like to do in Phasmophobia, which is my method. Now, if you if you don't want to hear me talk, go to this timestamp right here, otherwise stay along and hear me talk about what this video is going to include. So, this is basically me, me talking about what I like to do in Phasmophobia. It could basically mean like, what I like to do, what's my method, and how I find the ghost easy. Now, if you don't feel comfortable using my method, you don't have to use it, that's fine. Otherwise, if you want to give it a shot, you may. I'm not stopping you. Also, please be sure to know that this will be mostly for new players to Phasmophobia, who basically, like, they're still new to the game, but they've played a couple of times, but they can't find the ghost quickly. What I say could not be right, but at least it's something that I'm trying my best. Anyway, let's get straight into the video now, shall we? Alright, so here we are in game. So now, of course, I am new to the game myself. Uh, I don't know if I can access my level whatnot, but I'm basically here. Uh, I'm a one, pretty sure. I'm like a level 28, so I'm pretty, still pretty new myself at this moment. What the hell? That's weird. But uh, let's go with all that. Anyway, um, so. Now, this is one of my methods I normally use. It's normally a flashlight, a thermometer, and a book. This time I'm going to change it up differently. So, I'm going to grab a flashlight, a camera for orbs, and I'm going to grab a thermometer in case it gets cold. Now, nobody will I get, like, like I said, I normally get a flashlight, I normally pick up a thermometer and a book. However, I'm going to change it up differently this time. Now, I'm only bringing the flashlight because if I don't see any ghost orbs, then it could, then the thermometer can help. I'll explain that we can do the thermometer later, but for now let's go inside. Night vision on. See if we can find any orbs. So, oh yep, you can see that. That right there is an orb. So that is, that immediately shows us that is a ghost orb. See that little circle there on the camera? That's called a ghost orb. So we got that now. So now we can check here. We can see on the thermometer also. Oh, not open up the door. Not open up that door. But it's over here basically. You can tell because it's below 10. And what I like to do is if it's below 10 it stays below 10. It's definitely in there. So just in case I'll set up a camera right here. What I like to do also is leave that in. Leave the flashlight in. That way I can grab three more items because when you hold a flashlight that counts as one of your inventory slots. Quick disclaimer by the way, I forgot to mention that um I forgot to mention that any item you pick up counts as an I counts as a um, inventory slot. So it doesn't matter if you're holding a it doesn't matter if you're holding one item like a flashlight, a crucifix or spill box, whatever, that's gonna count as one inventory slot. As you only have three max. Just thought I'll let you know. So you can only carry two other items at a time. But I'm going to drop that. So, what I'm going to do now, grab the EMF, I'm going to grab a... Oh, actually, I'll grab a book instead. And I'll grab a UV light, which... Basically, what I'm going to do first, since since it opened up that bathroom door, I'm going to check for fingerprints, but it could have disappeared. It could have disappeared, since depending on the ghost, it can either disappear quick, or it can stay longer. I also forgot to mention that not all ghosts contain fingerprints, so it doesn't contain the UV light um, evidence. So depending on the ghost you're hunting, if you don't see any fingerprints, it's not going to be those ghosts that have um, the ultraviolet evidence. Obviously if it is, there could be any of the ghosts that has the ultraviolet evidence. You can see, yep, you're going to see on the EMF, that shows us spikes of the painting there. Actually, we can check here. No, okay. What I like to do next is also place down a book, which can. Oh, I threw something, but um. So basically, it basically also shows us um. Good camera. But um, it shows us um, like the EMF. See, it's level 3. It's not going up higher, so it can't be EMF, but it can be. But um, the book. It, it's basically good to check if the ghost writes in the book, which is a good little animation to be honest with. Okay, 
the thing I do really is when I play down book, I like to ask her why in the book. Okay, so never push talk button. Write in the book. Might not write in the book now, but later on it might. Now I'm gonna come back in here basically. The thing I like to do is grab a crucifix, dots, and a spirit box. But do is basically place on the crucifix in case it hunts when I'm inside the house. Basically, I'm gonna place it down the middle here. I'm gonna put on dots. I'm gonna place it around there. I heard a door. I'm not sure. Okay. But like I said, I'm still new myself. But, um. Yeah, basically. Oh, it opened this up. So, yeah, you can see here no fingerprints. So, it can't be UV. As if it was, and it will show up with handprint. But now, basically, so where's the EMF real quick? That's a thermometer. Yeah, you can see that. So about the thermometer, by the way. See, it's below zero. That means it's definitely here in the hallway. Which is pretty lucky. So I'm just gonna double check the EMF in case. No, nothing so far. We don't have any writing in the book so far. But it still it takes time, however, so it can't doesn't just happen right away. But um, yeah, now we're gonna open up our spear box, basically just a T2, a bunch of T1 items as well. And I'm gonna ask it. No, no. Oh yeah. Now there's some questions you can ask it, like basically, like how old are you? Are you here? Um, where are you? And all that stuff. So um, I'm gonna nibble my spear box. I'm gonna talk to it. So. Where are you? We can see that, yep, we see him walk through at starts. Now, we can check, the thing I have to do is, if I get two evidence, I'll check each one. So it's definitely, it could be spear box, it can be ghost fighting, it could be freezing temps. Oh, it's full ghost, so it could be either one of these. So I'm going to talk to it. So I'm going to ask her a few questions, so, how old are you? Okay, um, give us a sign. Are you here? See that little X there? That means it's hurting me. Are you friendly? Are you here? Where are you? Give us a sign. Let's touch upon the doors again. So we'll check again. Now I apologize for how I'm playing by the way, but we can tell it's not gonna be ultraviolet, so it's definitely not that. Uh, open all the doors, so. Oh, yep. Yeah. We got. We got level 2 here. But there's no running in the book yet. Okay! Uh, does not like me. So I'm gonna check the thermometer. It's sitting above zero, but it's not quite going down, so it couldn't be. Um. From up there, but I'm going to just check the case. I'm going to speak to it more time. So, where are you? How old are you? What's your name? Are we, in order for us to tell what the ghost's name is, we could go over here to overview. We go to the truck itself, and it gives us the the info on the ghost. So we have, uh, yeah, it's not fingerprints for sure. Also, in case the ghost hunts, you want to make sure. Also, um, there's a spot, so if it's, there's no spots, then well, you're basically screwed on this. You also want to make sure it doesn't see you enter it. Otherwise, if it does see you, then it's still, it's still gonna kill you. Otherwise, if it doesn't see you enter, then it's just not gonna kill you. And instead, it's not gonna know where you are, and the hunt's gonna end. Yeah. Well, that, that goes up in this door. Not that door, but... Um... Yeah, so I'm gonna check the moment one more time. It's sitting above zero, so it can't be freezing temps. It's not writing in the book yet, but how we don't know that yet so far. Now I'm gonna basically leave I uh, see that walk part walk through <laughs> see that walk towards me, my god. Um but you also wanna make sure keep an eye on your sandy meter, so depending on the ghost it can attack quicker stuff, but we can see here of course we got two years about accident, but um yeah, so I've got the easiest one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a cleansing case. I'm gonna grab another crucifix to be safe, and I'm also gonna grab a photo camera. 
That way I could take a photo of stuff, like, I could get, like, one star, I could still get money. So, depending on what you, what you take, for example, like, a door that I was interacted with, it can be used, um, against the ghost. So, in case I'm just gonna place it down there, it moved, um, it opened one of these doors, yet we got level 2 here. So, it can't be either. Okay, we have the ghost vet again. But, basically, yep, we seen it in dots again. Oh, I took a photo of it. I took a photo of an exit, damn it, my bad. Uh, but I'm just gonna cleanse the ghost. There we go, all of that done. But, um, not gonna worry about that. So now, we, so now if we want, we're gonna try to get more of these. So I'm gonna to attempt to speak to it again. So, how old are you? What's your name? Are you friendly? Are you nearby? Are you in this room? EMS going off. So where's the, uh, uh, I don't know where EMF is, please help me. Ah, uh, there it is. Yeah, so it's not EMF for sure. But, um, we gotta make sure. So I'm gonna place a book down around there. No, it starts, so we don't need that anymore. But, um, I'm gonna try to speak to it more, so. How old are you? Are you here? Are you near? Are you friendly? Are you angry? Are you mad? How old are you? Give us a sign. Give us a sign, but, um, show yourself. Where are you? Are you nearby? Whoa, through the book! Jesus! I did not expect that! Alright, that could be used as evidence basically, so that's a freestyle interaction. So that, that, that's good. Because you get money from that, so I'm gonna ask it again. So, where are you? <laughs> there we go, we got spear box! Now that we got that, we know you so see, you're kind now. Now if we want, we can either stay here and continue to get more photos as such, or we can we can leave now and leave with what we have. So for this, I'm just gonna leave right now because I'm not. It's not that I'm scared of anything, but it's just uh yeah. But um yeah. So now that we got all that, we got the uh, optional. I didn't want to focus on that, but um focus on the tutorial. But now we can leave. And here we go. Oh, I got to check if I'm recording real quick, but you can see. Okay, yeah, okay, it's a pause. But um, yeah, so that is my way to basically find the ghost. Uh, so we got a lot of XP basically. We got wow, I'm close to 29 away. But um, yeah, that that's basically my way I want to like to do. In case if you're wondering like what tools you should use, um, the things I recommend is basically just have two dots in case two crucifixes. Uh, depending on which one you have, so I have tier 1, so I'm going to need multiple, but, um, actually I won't get into down now, I might do it in the next video, but, um, yeah, we got some money, um, that, and that's my way to cap, that's my way to find the ghost quickly. So, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, um, video guide on my strategy, and I hope you guys found this, uh, helpful. If you want to see more like this, please let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to do more, help help more players on Plastic Beyond different games as well that I'm that I've been experiencing. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Mine's Mega Thirty Six, and I'll be sh I'll be signing off for uh, this afternoon. Uh, see you there, maniacs.